little over a year ago, I made a video called Why Do Farmers Bale Corn Stalks? And if you've seen that one, you know the main reason we bale them is to keep our cattle dry, warm, and comfortable throughout the winter time. Whether we're bedding them down in a big pile outside like this, or inside the barn later in the winter when the weather turns wicked. Corn stalks are a great solution to keep your cattle comfortable and healthy over these Midwestern winters. So today, we're gonna show some footage of how we get these corn stalks baled and how we get them transported home because a lot of you have asked for that in the comments section of the other video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey there, thanks for turning down my road. If this is your first time here, my name's Carl. My little brother and I both work for local farmers full time, but we both also farm together with our cattle herd and our hay operation. Everybody's involved from the smallest to the biggest. If you don't have the joy of farming yourself, I'd love to help you experience it through this channel. Whatever your background, you found the right place. This is Dodge Brothers Farm and Ranch. Now the first step is kind of optional. You don't have to do this, but we hired a neighbor to come over with his bat wing and chop the stalks up so that they're a little more fluffy and so that they dry out a little bit quicker. Sunday about 2.15 in the afternoon. The sun finally just came out. I'm gonna go see about raking some corn stalks and maybe getting them baled today if it stays nice. I don't know, we might have to do it tomorrow. Uh, the problem is everybody's trying to do it today and tomorrow and all of the guys that have balers are getting really busy so we might just have to take what we can get. We've kinda gotta do what we've gotta do. We really need some bedding. We don't have any at this point yet. And uh, anyway, we'll see what happens here. These corn stalks are really wet. I don't think I don't think they're ever going to get dried out. This is just a mess. Basically, the stalks that we chopped yesterday or the day before or whenever we did that are way too wet to rake even. I mean, they're wet on top, they're wet underneath. So I'm actually raking over here where we didn't chop the stalks. So basically I'm just raking up what came out the back of the combine and a little bit more. Um, so hopefully it works out. I don't know what it's gonna turn out to be like when we go to bale them tomorrow. We're not gonna be able to get them baled today. There's not enough daylight left to dry them out. I think the problem we ran into with chopping the stalks yesterday was that the frost that was on the corn got all mixed into the stalks as it was coming out the back of the combine. And then when we chopped it, it basically just turned that layer of stalks into like a thick carpet and it can't get any air to dry out. So over here where I'm raking, where we didn't chop actually, um, it's got a lot more air underneath it. It's not as matted down. So we're just doing what we can.
pulling corn stalk bales home from the field since it's the last day that the ground's gonna be frozen all day for probably a week or so. And check out this awesome trailer that I've got borrowed from a neighbor. This thing is unbelievable for moving corn stalk bales. I love it. is kind of large in diameter and sometimes it's really hard to get it stuffed into one of these corn stalk bales so bear with me here it's not as easy as it looks it uh, it works a little bit better on hay bales um, the spears that we use on our skid loader at home are a lot smaller in diameter than that and they just slide right in we got into this one okay but uh, it could be a little better yet even So as you can see I didn't get into this bale quite as good. I couldn't get the spear to go in very far. I Actually this was about the third or fourth time I tried to stab it and it kept kind of pushing the bale over and tilting the bale instead of going in. So I just gave up and picked it up like this. It'll work just fine. The one thing you got to watch on this type of a trailer since you're pushing the entire stack of bales forward on the rails every time you're loading a new bale is you've either got to have somebody in the truck or you've got to have a really good parking brake because otherwise the truck wants to slide forward. Some people even turn the truck sideways and that helps to keep the truck from moving while you're pushing the trailer. But any way you do it, it's a little bit hard on the truck if you're not careful. Now you know the rest of the story on the corn stalk bales. It was hard getting some good dry bales made this year and I'm so glad we finally were able to because a high and dry cow is a happy cow. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button right below the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it doesn't cost a thing. Just hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button and you'll never miss out on another video. You'll get a notification whenever it's posted. As always, thanks for riding along and I'll see you next time. <laughs>